Hello everybody, Thrive here with another Feed the Beast Minecraft Spotlight. This one's on the machine, it's the Trado Mat. And for this machine you can use not only these industrial credits, which are a good source of currency, but any single item you can use as a requirement in here. I'm just going to use industrial credits as an example. You can use any item down here. I'm going to use saplings as an example, these rainbow oak saplings. So this top slot is the requirement, the bottom slot is what people are going to get and only the person who placed this machine can see the left side and you have to have either a personal safe or a chest next to it I'm going to use the chest for this example or I'll use both I will put two saplings in there and two saplings in there as you can see it takes two credits for two saplings so on this right side I can put in two credits and it'll drop out two saplings for me and we can take a look it took it from this chest right here it dropped the two credits in there and it took the two saplings and I can do it again one two it'll give me another two and it'll count the number of trades performed it'll drop the two credits into wherever it took the uh, saplings from and yeah that's how the trade on mat works you can have a chest or a personal safe connected to multiple trade mats and they'll all connect to the same chest. You can also have one trade mat connected to multiple personal safes, or as you saw over here, multiple chests. But to show you an example with this, I'll put one in here, one in here, and you would think that it would give me a rainbow oak sapling or two, but it is not and that is because it only reads one chest at a time it can't look at both of these and take one item from each but if you have two in any one of the chests it'll automatically do the trade if you have the coins in there take out the saplings that I got and the coins will be added to these coins over here and again you can put anything in this top slot anything in this bottom slot only the owner can see this so make sure if you are using this on the server to specify what the requirement is and what you get from it and thank you for watching the video and this next part is not too related to personal safes but all of my tutorials are going to be uploaded and categorized onto a website and that website is dedicated to a server that my friend and I are hosting so either way if you want to go and check out the server if you want to go and check out my tutorials and also there's going to be a text walkthrough with all my tutorials so it's going to be like a mini wiki that's kind of what I'm shooting for Anyways, I hope to see you on the website, and there's forums there too, feel free to post on the forums as well as on the comments, and I hope to see you guys later in another video, and have a good day or night.